Welcome. Here is a video I'm going to be doing as a follow-up to a video I did many, many years ago. That was like in 2011. How do we fall in love? Where a man's treasure is, there will his heart be. What are your treasures? Your treasures are those things that are important to you. Your, like, your time, your energy, your uh, money, um, privacy, personal space attention, care, commitment, lots of all those things that are you know, important to you. Wherever or whoever you invest these things into, over a, over a period of time, it's going to feel like your heart is uh, drawn towards it. So those are your treasures and whoever you invest or whatever you invest those things into is like an emotional bank. As you deposit little bits of your time, your energy, your money, all those things that are important to you, you start feeling as though you are in love. But in the real sense, you're just growing what I call a fondness. You're just growing fond of that thing or that person. You're just getting attached. You're, so there's, it's an attachment, it's a fondness, it's a bond you're, that your heart connects to wherever you put your treasures in. So it's not necessarily you being in love, you're just used to, you're just fond of, you're just attracted or attached to whatever or whoever you've invested all these, your treasures, your heart will be drawn towards it, you know. So that's how people get that feeling like they're in love, you know. And this explains why after a while, maybe if you're in a, um, if somebody stops, like if you stop investing this, uh, these treasures, over a period of time, let's say you stop the communication, you stop um, spending time together, you stop, uh, you know, giving gifts or whatever you've been doing, you know, after a while you start feeling like, hmm, maybe I'm no longer, I'm, I'm not feeling like I'm really in love with this person. So I'm saying, you're, we're never, never really in love, you were just fond of. You only grew fond of that person because of all the emotional investments you've deposited all these your treasures you've deposited in the other person we all have treasures we all have things that are important i mean you have your personal space so if someone calls you if someone is calling you every day and you're giving the person the attention you're giving him your time you're giving him your personal uh, your privacy someone is asking you hello so where are you and you're saying, I am, you know, every, every time the person seeks to know where you are, you're always giving up your privacy. What you don't know you're doing is you are giving up some little bits of your treasures. They might not seem so important to you, but after a, over a period of time, you start feeling as though you are in love with the person or you are getting fond of this person. So I, I used to say that if you talk with a madman every single day for, let's say, a long period of time, after a while, you're going to grow fond of that madman. And you'd be the one to be telling us, ah, you people just don't understand him. He's not really mad though. You know, he's not that bad, you know, because you have spent, you've um, invested more into your emotional bank as regards that person. You've talked and talked and talked. So if you don't want to fall into that illusion of being in love, it's up to you. For instance, uh, someone is talking to you every day. Just know where it might lead to, you know. If somebody is asking for uh, whatever, your attention, your time, whatever it is, those are your treasures. Wherever you invest your treasure or whoever you invest these treasures into, consequently, you're going to feel drawn towards it. Is it possible for someone to then be in love with two, three people in that sense? Personally, I think you can feel emotionally attached to more than one person if you have been investing in these different people just like if a parent can be emotional, emotionally attached to three different kids all right because oh you're investing in them or in all of them so you feel connected you feel emotionally attached love is entirely different there's fondness there's an emotional connection and attachment that you have built up over time from investing into your emotional bank in depositing your treasures i'm sort of saying that what people are calling love isn't really love in the real sense okay so what is love i'm going to handle what i see as love in another video being fond of someone isn't really love 
you just talk to the person so much that you've grown emotionally invested wherever you invest your treasures your hearts will be drawn towards it basically i don't believe in falling in love like why are you falling in love no wonder you get hurt don't fall in love rather you can walk in love not necessarily fall in love love shouldn't it doesn't really happen suddenly like you just wake up one day ah i'm in love with this person no it's uh, something that's over a period of time as you are as you're investing emotionally in the other person as you're giving off some as you're making those compromises trade-offs you're giving off your personal space your privacy you're letting them in over a period of time you feel you begin to feel fond of that person you feel personally uh, attached or connected to that person it doesn't mean you're in love all right thank you for joining me and that's uh, what this video is about yeah thank you